Election Day parties wrapped up and most people had gone home for the night. One group of people tried settling their problems with guns Saturday night. The evidence is still downtown today. Bullet holes in buildings and windows. News 2's Best Cashley has the video of that shootout and spoke with people who work nearby. Baton Rouge police say the battle was just around the corner from their downtown district, which is how they were able to respond so quickly. An apparent gun battle downtown Damn. early Sunday morning following the LSU Grambling game left a trail of destruction from Florida to Lafayette streets. We had some folks Sunday night, uh, well, about 2.30 in the morning, that decided to shoot the whole block up. Damn. According to BRPD, Any shooting is a concern to us. Damn. No one was injured, but several businesses, including the Hilton Hotel, had windows shot out. One business that was hit still has a bullet in the door. This is a bullet, look. Jeez. Despite the multiple holes in her business, it's just a glass. Owner Janice Goff says she typically feels safe downtown. During the daytime, it's, it's safe. Yeah. Uh, we come out here, we leave the door open while we're working and stuff, and people are friendly. And they all stop and they talk and, you know, they encourage you to keep going. The um, nighttime, you get a lot of rowdies and you just go home <laughs> and you, you avoid that part. This year, there have been at least three shootings. <laughs> In the same part of downtown, two of them with victims and one of them deadly. Baton Rouge police say they are aware of the trend. Oh, we know there's an element of... Uh, young kids and uh, young adults that are hanging in the downtown area on the weekends. We've increased uh, patrols down in that particular area because we know people are walking uh, the levee and they're walking the downtown area by the river center. And when they're down there, we notice that there are uh, potential altercations that have occurred. However, BRPD maintains they believe the area is safe. Damn. So that's why we have increased presence down there. And Goff says this won't deter her from earning a living. I'm determined. So far, no arrests have been made, but BRPD says they are using the surveillance cameras downtown to identify the shooters. Sylvia. Yes, thank you.